Hi guys, well let's have a look at using Affinity Photo, Publisher and Designer all together on three monitors, three screens attached to the same computer. I've got two screens, one sharing left, one sharing right and an iMac I'm using as a monitor in the centre. And it's all being helped along by the fact that I've got two monitors plugged in and the iMac is running off Duet. And it works very well. Here we've got three monitors being driven by an M2 Mac Mini. Now you can see I've got three monitors there, a HP Duet in the middle, which is the iMac. Now there's the iMac 2015. 4K 2015, yeah, late 2015 model. It's just the basic, everything's stripped off it. All that's running on it is Monterey. That's the latest operating system it'll run. There's the um, HP monitor. And you can see them there on the, on the Duet listing, on the displays. That's on the iMac. And there's the Samsung monitor. Now on here, there's a little mouse bobbing around there. Let me go down and bring that up. I'll hide that because we don't need that. Cancel that because we don't need that up there. But what I want to do with that is bring that across. That's it, and that's now over there on the first monitor in the series. I'll come back here. You can see I'm bringing up Designer. Designer pops up on this monitor in the middle. That's on the iMac. Very nice, very high resolution too. And if I want to be really silly about it, then I bring up Affinity Photo and put Affinity Photo. You can see Affinity Photo is there on the third monitor. So we've got one, two, We've got Publisher, Designer, and Photo all running on the same system. Now, I'll just clear those because I don't want them running at the moment. But how's that running? That's running by Duet, running on the Mac, on the M2 Mac Mini, and Duet is running on the iMac in the middle. And I connected via the, not by the mirror image, but by the um, the other one, which I can't show at the moment because it's a, there we go, and I've got that out of the way, just click that back. Because you can see that there, three monitors. Isn't that wonderful? Now you've got three monitors running there, all running off the M2. Those ones there, that one and that one are running by a cable from the M2, which is there with a bunch of spare drives on the top of it, uh, doing, doing um, time machine stuff. And that's all there is to that at the moment. So let's look at the main screen and see why we would want to use an old iMac. It's a, it's a late 2015 4K, um, what do they call it, Retina Display iMac. Um, it still runs very well. It's got a one terabyte drive in it, but it's too slow for anything useful these days. And the operating system won't upgrade. It's running Monterey. But what I can use the monitor for is it's very high resolution. I've got it running at 2048 at the moment because I put it on 4096 and it was just too small to see. So I'm recording this now on OBS, but what I want to do is bring up Affinity Photo. Now here we are on the iMac, as I was just saying, and we don't want advertising up there. Let's get rid of that if I can. Okay. Here we are on the iMac, recording this with OBS. Let's start up Affinity Photo. Now this is starting on the iMac, and hopefully there it is. Now I don't want to create a new, a new um, thing yet, and I've got 
reminders popping up on the screen, but never mind. Let's open a recent file. And yeah, this is Romantic Couple PNG. And this is Romantic Couple, open recent, done with the D. Oh, not that. It's very quick, isn't it? File, open, open recent, Romantic Couple with the Dehancer filter on it and you can see the difference between those two there. There's the original and there's the Dehancer filter put on it. Now unfortunately the Dehancer filter is not working properly at the moment. That's up there in the plugins and there should be a filter popping up there but there's not. But anyway I've spoken to them about it and that'll be fixed. What I'm doing here is using a very high resolution screen. Whether it'll I mean, you can't really see the difference here, can you? But this is what it is. Now, it's definitely on the Mac, about this Mac. There we go, Mac Mini, Apple M2. Couldn't be nicer. And it's using a monitor that's... Let's see if I can spot that. Let's see if I can show you the monitor. Do, 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 do. There should be, there it is, Duet. And there's the connected devices. Very nice. Retina used when available. The resolution's 2048 by 1152. Now I could go up to 4096, but I tried that and the print on the screen is so small that you can't see it. Like the, the bars and things, but that's okay. We don't we don't even need that. Let's just close that down. And oops, there we go. That's a good thing about the um, new Sonoma, you click on the screen somewhere and everything goes away. Click on the screen and it all comes back. Now that's very nice. That's Affinity Photo, like you've never seen it before. Let's enlarge that. Look at that for a nice big picture. That's a working surface that I really love. Now I can't afford an iMac, but I've got an M2 Mac Mini. And I've got an iMac, an old one, although it does run Affinity Photo, it runs it very slowly. So, if you want to run an iMac, a very old iMac, makes a cheap monitor, very high resolution monitor, put Duet on your base computer, like your M2 Mac Mini, and put Duet on your new old iMac, with the high resolution um, screen on it you don't need to pay for it there's no there's no um, what do you call them no subscriptions nothing like that unless you want to go remote and then if you go remote then of course you've got to pay for it but what you're using is two of the base servers and they just talk to each other over the network if you're in different locations of course that's a problem then you have to get the subscription but as it is no nope, you just got a base one on the on the Mac for example and a base one on the iMac and you've got a very nice very high resolution um, monitor to work with. Too nice. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Okay well that's about it. Thanks for watching this little um, this little show and we'll see you later.